Hey, my name is Al, and inevitably this type of video is going to make some people mad, and that's okay. Some people will say this isn't apples to apples comparison because ZBrush doesn't even use polygons. While that's true, videos like this on my channel are for people who just don't have access to ZBrush, and they want to see the differences in regards to performance. So this video is for them. Heck, I've made several videos on my channel encouraging people not to buy ZBrush and to just use Blender. So with all that said, let's take a look. I'm in Blender 3.5 and what I did was I took this default sphere from Blender and then export it into ZBrush just so it's a little bit uh, closer comparison. We're going to take a look at clay strips. Awesome. So this is like clay buildup inside of ZBrush. Everything works as it's supposed to. And we're going to add a modifier and we're going to do a multi-resolution. Let's go ahead and turn on statistics just so we can see how many polygons we have and subdivide. Now we're at almost 100,000 and this is still buttery smooth. This is how sculpting should feel. This is just awesome. Let's undo that. Let's see how the draw brush is working. Yeah, everything is just fine. Nothing crazy. No lag whatsoever. Let's try clay. Okay, let's press subdivide again. Now we're close to 400,000. Still... Very, very awesome. Things are super smooth. Let's try clay. Things are a little laggier with the clay, especially when I go around fast. I don't know if you can see that on screen. Clay strips was very smooth. And then clay definitely took some time to catch up. All the other ones seem to be doing just fine. All right, now we're at 1.5 million clay strips. Still amazing. This is awesome. Let's try clay. Oh, yeah. So if you go nice and smooth and slow with the clay, it works fine. But anything fast and the lag is quite significant. Clay strips. So super fast at 1.5 million on my machine, there is lag. If I'm just normally sculpting, this is pretty darn great. But like as fast as I can, slight lag, totally manageable. Okay, let's subdivide. Okay, we're at 6 million polygons. Super fast, and this is not usable. Let's... Low is fine. Oh yeah, definitely lag, even just with some little strokes. Let's try clay. That was giving us the most issues. Yeah, that's not really usable. Um, going slow is fine, and then... Sometimes, seems to be working all right. Super fast, very laggy. I still think this is usable. All right, we're now subdividing from 6 million polygons. So it took a long time to divide that, but we're there. Try clay strips at 25 million. It is nice. It did the stroke, but it's like one second delay. This is me going very slow. But yeah, this is simply not usable, period. This one's working much better. So draw still laggy but not as laggy draw sharp not as laggy clay is just gonna be ridiculous clay strips which is I feel like the primary brush that most people use this is going slow and this would be fast about a 1.5 second delay oh make it two seconds all right we are in zbrush go ahead and get our clay build up out this is the blender sphere and let's go ahead and start. Obviously, this is gonna work great for now. We're gonna press divide. Now we're at roughly, you know, ZBrush has points, but 100,000 polygons is what we'll say here. Everything is great. Super smooth, fast as I can go. No problem there, but this was very similar to Blender at this stage. Control D to divide, roughly 400,000. Super smooth, nothing crazy there. We are at 6 million. So this was very noticeable in Blender when things started to fall apart. But this is as fast as I can move my stylus and it is very responsive. There's zero lag. And this is a big difference already compared to Blender. Now we're at 25 million. There definitely is lag on that initial stroke. Let's try that again. Now, keep in mind, this is my setup and my computer. Your mileage may vary. That first stroke was pretty darn laggy. And then these, there is a slight lag, but I'm moving as 
fast as I can, and it is doing a pretty darn good job of keeping up. Super responsive. So if you want to see another Blender versus ZBrush comparison, watch this video.